Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, tonight for our second and final mile, we're running for the second first responder who passed away in this incident, an assistant fire chief. Tonight, I'm running for fallen assistant fire chief, Zachary Paris. He worked with the Community Fire Company of New Tripoli, Pennsylvania. His end of watch was December 7th, sorry, his last alarm was December 7th of 2022. He lost his life after he and another firefighter became trapped while fighting a residential fire with possible entrapments. He was 36 years old at his passing, serving with the uh, fire company of New Tripoli, Pennsylvania since 2010 and was a part of the board of directors. He was also a career member of the Frederick County Fire and Rescue Services and leaves behind a wife, two daughters, a sister, and parents. Tonight I'm running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my Adelaide Elementary School, the equivalent of one mile in his honor. And I'll be joined tonight by many first responders, supporters, and my whole family joining us this mile. Before the run starts, we want to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hard time they are going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those tuning in tonight, Zach Ryan now running his second mile of the evening. Both for heroes that were lost from the same incident, the second mile in honor of fallen assistant chief Zachary Paris. He served with the Community Fire Company of Neutropoli in Pennsylvania, tragically losing his life on December the 7th, 2022. He lost his life after he and a fellow firefighter became trapped while they were battling a residential fire with possible entrapments. Assistant Chief Paris was 36 years old. He joined the New Tripoli Fire Company in 2010, also serving on its board of directors. He was also a career member of the Frederick County Division of Fire and Rescue Services. And sadly, Assistant Chief Zachary Paris leaves behind a wife, two daughters, a sister, and parents. Zachary completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile this evening, to honor the life of Assistant Chief Zachary Paris. Oh. We are always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zachariah tonight, helping to pay tribute once again to fallen assistant chief Zachary Paris. We have members of our hometown Winter Springs Police Department here tonight. Running with Zachariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based at the Orlando International Airport. We also have two of our other youth runners running tonight, including Jaden and Juliana, and then also Zachariah's sister Chloe walking tonight to help honor this hero. Again, we're here to pay tribute to 36-year-old Assistant Fire Chief Zachary Paris. Served with Community Fire Company of New Tripoli in Pennsylvania and tragically, December the 7th, 2022, lost his life after he and his fellow brother, firefighter, became trapped while battling a residential fire with possible entrapments. He served since 2010 with the New Tripoli Fire Company and served on its board of directors and was a career member of the Frederick County Division of Fire and Rescue Services. Zachariah completing his second lap now to honor Assistant Chief Paris here tonight. For every mile that's completed by our runners, a unique flag gets carried and gets sent after the run to the families of the heroes that get honored. And tonight, Zachariah carrying the red line flag once again. This time, this flag is carried for Fallen Assistance Chief Zachary Paris. This flag, along with a handwritten note that Zachary wrote earlier in the day, is gonna work its way to the family of Assistant Chief Paris. And it's all thanks to you and your support. If you like information on how you can be a part of this mission, is it running the number four heroes.org? We'll also do a post later tonight with details. As Zachariah completes his third lap, starts lap four, I'm gonna go silent. I'm gonna remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero, Assistant Chief Zachary Paris. We once again, extend our thoughts and our prayers 
to the community fire company of Neutral Poli mourning the loss of this hero plus another one of their brothers. We also extend our thoughts and prayers to the family of Chief Zachary Paris, including Assistant Chief Zachary Paris, including his wife, his daughters, his sister and parents. We hope this run honors him well and we thank Assistant Chief Zachary Paris for his years of service.
Zachary found a word tonight for the family of fallen assistant chief Zachary Paris. To the entire family of Fallen Assistant Chief Zachary Paris, everybody with the Community Fire Company of Neutropoli, Pennsylvania, along with Assistant Chief Paris, his wife, two daughters, sister, and parents, we hope all will be healed very soon through the passing of your loved one. Assistant Chief Zachary Paris and another firefighter, unfortunately, just a few days ago, lost their life in the line of duty fight, fighting a fire on the second floor of the residential building. I said this in the first run, but being a firefighter, it's in your title. You fight fires as the main priority you have. You fight to get anybody who's inside a burning building out and protect anybody else who needs assistance. I'm sure, I, I know, firefighters across the nation have to go to fire calls almost every single day. However, unfortunately, it's very, un it's very rare when two pass away in the line of duty in one incident. Because it unfortunately happened here tonight though, our prayers are gonna stay with all of you through the loss you're going through. And if you're part of the family of this fallen assistant chief, Zachary Paris, this red line flag along with the handwritten note I've written will be sent to you very soon. If all of you tonight, and I would now like to join us in a 21 second moment of silence. Eat, check, nay, kidding. One amazing thing Assistant Chief Paris during his life, including as a first responder in his community. Following this will also be a prayer. So if all of you now please bow our heads, join us in, and join us in this 21 seconds, please do at this time. Dear God, tonight we ran for two fallen first responders, both from the new the fire the community fire company of Neutropoli, Pennsylvania. They lost their life in a residential fire incident. God, I pray watch for both their families and their departments. Pray God to this run so they can find comfort through the loss they are going through. And let them know that they are that our two fallen first responders are still in spirit by them every single day. Thank you, and God, and Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us in these two miles. We hope and pray we don't have to run for a multiple first responder incident ever again. So, if I may ask, if all of you not, would uh, say a prayer tonight before you go to sleep uh, and pray for first responders in your community and the United States as they continue to serve tonight. Um, we hope all of you have a great and safe night, especially, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.